Happy Friday, Millbrook. As you can see, I'm here on the back edge of our property in front of the fountain because I want to call your attention to water. Water is everywhere. The ground is still wet uh, with a little bit of it from our most recent rains. We wash our hands with it, we drink it. We're so fortunate that most of us have access to clean water. In many places, having access to water is the difference between life and death. Water has so many meanings for us and so much importance, and it's also so ordinary. That's why I think it's so brilliant that Jesus himself was baptized in water. And this Sunday, we're gonna do a renewal of baptism. That is a time when we um, remember and the, we are renewed again in the gift of God's love that is poured over us at our baptism. Even if you haven't been baptized, Water is still can be a sign of renewal and newness of life and still be a way that you can remember God's love for you because God's love is certainly not tied to baptism. When my oldest daughter was baptized, the church that she was baptized in gave um, as a gift baptismal candles and we lit them during the actual baptism. But after that, I thought, I'm not sure what I can do with this. And then uh, eventually we came to the realization that we can renew their baptisms and our own baptisms. And so every year um, our children were baptized um, two years apart, but on at the same time uh, in December. So every December we put out their baptismal candles and we light them and we have water and we say prayers and we remember our own baptisms. Sometimes we touch the water and put the mark of the cross on each other's foreheads. And we talk about again, what baptism means. And my children are well-trained to say, Jesus loves us. And it is so true. So it's really a simple ritual, um, but I wanted to encourage you to participate in worship this Sunday. In all three services, we'll have um, an actual act where you can come forward, touch the baptismal water, and put the sign of the cross on your forehead remember your baptism and be thankful. If you're worshiping with us from home online, you can have water there with you. We do a blessing of the water, but it's not a sacrament and it's something that you can do at home like we do in our family. The point is that God's love is so abundant for us. We just celebrated Christmas when we honor that Jesus was nurtured in the water of Mary's womb. We remember the creation story when God swept over the waters of the deep and created. And that water is so ordinary and essential to our everyday lives. So over this weekend, every time you have an experience with water, which you'll have many, uh, remember that God offers us so many ways, signs, symbols, and rituals that we can remember God's love. And join us on Sunday for renewal of baptism, either online or in person. May you remember all that God has done for you, all of God's love, and yes, in fact, that Jesus loves you. And let's renew that together.